Hi, my name is Mark Patterson, and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. And today we're going to be doing uh, a couple of scans of a prop, um, actually a pair of props. I've already scanned uh, the first prop, which is right here. And it hasn't ever been used, so it's perfect model. And we're going to be comparing the perfect prop model to um, this used prop model, which I'm about to scan. So let's get into it. So it's going to go through the basic rundown of a regular scan for this one um, where it's going to project uh, the 2D pattern, also known as a fringe pattern, which is just a pattern of vertical lines onto the part. And the two onboard cameras are going to take a series of images um, while the fringe pattern is being projected onto the part. And these series of images make up one scan. And each scan is comprised of about 2.2 to 2.6 million data points. Um, and I'm using the rotary stage for this function, um, which is really going to streamline the process and is essentially just going to make this a lot quicker um, by rotating it for me. And then at the end, it's going to process out and align every all the scans that I took for me and auto combine them. So cuts out a lot of the uh, manual labor time um, for scanning. So I'm going to do uh, two, two scans for, for this prop. Um, um, once this is done, I'm just going to flip it over and do the other side to get the under part of the blades. So once that's done, uh, we can do that. <clears throat> and then the next process will be taking um, both of the finalized models into the calculate deviation function and taking a look and seeing how much these two props uh, have changed, how much the used one has warped um, compared to the brand new one. Um, so I expect we'll see some, some interesting differences. So we'll just go ahead and flip that guy over um, and scan that. Okay, now that I have them aligned, um, I can select the two and bring them in, one as a reference and one as a target. And now they're right on top of each other, so I can go ahead and calculate the deviation, and we can look at, um, at this. And let's go ahead and adjust the max deviation to about um, five thousandths of an inch, and we'll adjust the minimum to uh, negative five thousandths and take a look at this. 
So as you can see, um, there's actually quite a fair bit of uh, warping and um, difference between the two. Um, so you know, it's it's really interesting to see how much uh, want the use prop has actually been um, been you know warped or damaged compared to the original prop.